dual cameras, an aluminum build, a fingerprint sensor, a bezel-less display, and a headphone jack, and a smartphone in 2017? Hey guys, this is Austin. When Honor reached out and wanted to sponsor a video on their brand new 7X, all I needed was the word headphone jack and I was in. Now the first thing I noticed is that that blue is actually pretty nice. So something I really liked with the original Pixel was the very blue color. While this isn't quite so vibrant, it is definitely unique. There's not exactly a lot of other stuff in the box. So there's a European style power plug as well as a micro USB cable. The idea here is that you're getting a lot of what you would expect on a 2017 flagship, but at a much lower price. So the actual official announcement of this phone will be on December 5th, but from what I've heard, it's going to be under 300 euros. Considering the price, this feels good. So the design actually reminds me a little bit of the iPhone 7. So it has very rounded corners. It's a bit of like a seamless design, but when you flip it around front, the screen is a lot bigger. While it would be nice to see USB-C on the bottom instead of the micro USB port, we do, however, get the headphone jack. I will say that the bottom firing speaker on this is maybe not quite as loud as I'd like, but the addition of the headphone jack kind of evens that out for me. There's also a fingerprint sensor on board. And it's fast. I mean, basically as soon as you put your finger on the button, the phone wakes right up. Inside, it's powered by a Kirin 659 octa-core processor, four gigabytes of RAM, and 64 gigs of storage. Kirin is Huawei and Honor's SOC manufacturer. So unlike pretty much every other phone out there that has a Snapdragon chip, this is going to be something a little different. And Honor claims that this should be able to hold up better under longer periods of use, such as gaming. When you get into a game like Modern Combat 5, you'll see that it actually holds up pretty well, and it does take advantage of the 18x9 display. So while yes, this is not going to have the same power as something like a flagship, it looks surprisingly good, and for pretty much any game that's available on Android, it should be able to handle it. And with a 3340 milliamp hour battery, you should be able to get some pretty good gaming in on this guy. Honor claims this should last up to a day and a half of normal usage. Software wise, we have Android 7.0 with MUI 5.1 on top. Now this is a bit of a heavier skin, however you can customize it by re-enabling the app drawer, which is what I've done here. And there are some cool features, like being able to pull down and get something very similar to Spotlight. A big selling point of the Honor 7X is the bezel-less display. So it's rocking a 6 inch 2160 by 1080 max view panel. When you look at it up front, it's pretty much all screen. So it has a similar screen to body ratio to something like a Galaxy Note 8. And while yes, the panel itself maybe is not the most color accurate thing in the world, at this kind of price, there's not much to complain about. Plus, that wider 18 by 9 aspect ratio does a really good job of showing you more widescreen videos, such as our iPhone 10. Is it worth it? It fills out a lot more of the screen. One of my favorite budget phones of this year is the Moto E4 Plus. And with a 5.5 inch screen, it's actually a fairly similar size to the Honor. However, you can see just how much less screen real estate you actually have to work with here. Having such a big display is also helpful when it comes to split screen. So when you tap and hold on the multitasking, you can pull up, say, like another app. If you want, you can be watching a video at the same time as you're scrolling through a web page, replying to a message, whatever. Around back, we have two cameras, a 16 megapixel main shooter backed up with a two megapixel secondary camera for stuff like portrait mode. <laughs> wow, that's so stylized. Let's go crazy town on this. You can tell they're really sort of like pushing the shadows and the highlights, but with this sort of wide aperture mode, that's an interesting look. I mean, it's different. Get a little bit of HDR action to see what the dynamic range is like. That's not bad. I mean, to be fair, it helps it's a little bit cloudy right now, but it's pretty much keeping everything in the shot. You can also enable a simulated bokeh for the front-facing camera. The front-facing portrait actually doesn't look bad. So it does lose a little bit of the side of my face, and especially the glasses, which a lot of phones have a problem with. But considering it's doing this purely in software, whereas at least on the rear-facing cameras, you do have that secondary camera to sort of figure out the depth, this isn't bad. And this is what the 1080p video looks like from the Honor 7X. So while it would be nice to have 4K, the stabilization is actually not too bad. And even when I'm kind of trying to move around and change exposure and stuff, it holds up pretty well. The Honor 7X is an interesting phone. So considering the price, there's a lot to like. Stuff like the bezel-less display, the dual cameras, the good build quality, solid battery life. But the question is what this thing actually costs. Honor will be announcing the full price of the 7X at a launch event on December 5th. And I'm very curious to see exactly where this lines up because if the price is right, it's a really compelling phone. So what do you guys think about the Honor 7X? Let me know in the comments below and I will catch you in the next one.